How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today we're going to be looking at these Dreams Come True ZT Digital Sports Headphones. Now if we turn to the back right here, first of all I want to say I really like the premium kind of gloss that they have on the front. This is matte and this is like a nice gloss coating. Let's go ahead and turn that around. If we zoom in here at the bottom real quick, we can see that it is an arc design. It has built-in wireless microphone, waterproof and sweat resistant. You can control your music and the calls via the button. And it says high fidelity wireless music. It says the frequency response is 2.402 or, or dash 4.40 gigahertz. Or was that 80 gigahertz? Oh, it's a little bit small. And uh, yeah, so that's the frequency right there. I'm not really sure um, how that ties into it. I think it's just the latency um, or the frequency response, I guess they would call it. But um, it seems good to me. We'll, we'll test it out. <laughs> let's go ahead and lay this flat. And let's just slide this top box portion off. There we go. All right, move that to the side. And then here are the headphones. They're kind of in this nice little foam encasing. Let's go ahead and pop these out now. They have a very um, flexible kind of silicone feel to them, which is nice because if you're gonna have these around your neck all the time, you don't want them to be super tough and rigid, you know? Just pop that. Oh, it looks as though the extra wiring is underneath the foam portion. And then let's just take a look right here to see if there's anything underneath. And, oh, oh, I was not expecting that. That's nice. Look at this, guys. It comes with its own little leather bag that you can keep them in to keep them uh, nice and safe. And if you look on the inside right here, it has a softer material too. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and pull these out real quick just to see what we got before we inspect the headphones. So this is their contact card. Looks as though it folds up like this so you could put it on your desk or something like that. It's kind of a cute idea. And then it comes with this little bag of goodies. Let's go ahead and open this up. Every five seconds. Well, let's go ahead. No. <laughs> it's my video progression sentence. So right here we have a micro USB to charge the headphones. Reasonably long. And then I'm assuming these are different sizes. Yeah, oh, wow, there's a lot of them in here. I wonder what these things are. Oh, they're little clips. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. So it comes with these little clips in here that are used to cable manage, I believe. And then we also have these adjustable um, little inserts. They go into the uh, end of the headphones right here if you have like a bigger like inner ear area so that they will fit better. And then we have another bag of them too. A lot of different sizes for a lot of different ear shapes, really small ones with like a little wider point. Uh, point. <laughs> and then uh, some of these larger ones too. And I think that's it. I think there might be one more thing inside of here. Yeah, we have a little uh, instruction booklet probably for how to pair it. Sorry if my light's a little wonky. I'm getting used to my new lighting setup. So here is the instruction booklet. Basically uh, the simple instructions, you know, hold down the button most likely to start pairing to your phone and then, you know, plug it in and charge it. So let's go ahead and set that to the side along with all these guys. So here are the headphones themselves. So it has kind of like a nice gold kind of cap at the end right here that looks nice and premium. And then we have these kind of, 
I wouldn't say recessed, but the buttons themselves are inside, so they're kind of, but on the outside we have this kind of uh, over layer of like silicone plastic to press on the buttons right there to turn the volume up and down. Looks as though this might be the area that has microphone in it too for talking to your friends or your family. This side right here just says wireless stereo. Cable has kind of like a little like groove pattern on it, kind of like a celery stick or something. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of small. And then of course this is kind of like a like kind of like a stringy noodle. Very comfortable, very flexible. So it's gonna go around your neck and just kind of lay there. And since these right here at the top are kind of weighted, you're not gonna have to worry about them falling off of your neck. I believe it says it's waterproof too, um, to a certain extent most likely. But that means we have this little uh, cover right here made out of plastic. It goes and you push it in here to cover the charging port. So let's say it's raining and you're taking a jog or something, you might be able to do that with these. Don't, don't take my word for it. So easy enough to just plug it in. Unless I'm doing it the wrong way, I always put it in the wrong way. There we go. Then you just plug these into your computer, or if you have another like phone charger laying around. Most likely a five volt charge. And then let's get over here to the headphones themselves. Ooh, that's interesting. Look at this. They're magnetic. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm pretty sure those are meant to be magnetic too. I mean, every speaker has a magnet in it, but that's a pretty strong magnet. If you look in here, I don't know if I can get the lighting right, but yeah, there we go. We have like this golden grill. Um, yeah, there we go. We almost got the shine on it. There we go. Right there. There's like a golden kind of grill on the inside of that to uh, keep stuff and debris from your ear getting inside of there or dust. So that's a nice feature. And then we have their symbol right there. Pretty cool design symbol. Better than some of the other ones that I've seen. Um, I'm sad that these don't retract into here, but, um, you know, it's not that kind of hard, you know, shell design. It's more of a flexible one, so that's probably why you can't do that. But I really liked the other, um, ones that I reviewed. I forget what it was by. I think it was like Armon, Ar Armana or something like that. And they sucked the headphones back up inside of the, uh, actual band itself. So that was cool. But let's go ahead and turn these on. I'm assuming there's some charge in them and then sync it to my phone and see how they sound. Assuming it's this one. Yep. And now we're doing the blink. So let's go ahead and grab my phone and sync it and see if we can get some sound out of these guys. Let's just do some no copyright right here and pulling up some music real quick. And let's go ahead and turn up the volume. I'm going to test out the headphones real quick and let you know how the bass and the sound quality is. Wow. This has the perfect amount of bass and tempo. That is really nice. And the band on the back of the neck, since it's made out of a silicone type material, let's go ahead and put these over here real quick. Since it's made out of this kind of rubbery silicone material, it keeps them nice and cool. So it's nice and cold on the back of your neck, so you're not going to sweat on these as much. Let's go ahead and put the speakers right here, these, next to my microphone and see if you guys can hear the sound. Alright, so hopefully you guys were able to hear the music pretty well on there. But yeah, the headphones feel pretty premium, and I'm really excited to start using them. I use these kind of headphones primarily to sleep because they wrap around your neck and they stay there all night, and I like listening to white noise while I'm trying to sleep. So yeah, definitely would recommend them, and I'm going to put them in the link in the description below so you guys can check them out as well. But yeah, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.